This episode is sponsored by Gamer G, the gaming energy drink made by gamers for gamers. Check it out in four great flavors, Purple Nurple, Red Alert, Binary Blue, and Epic Green. Who are you going to call? Here. Oh. That's right. Us, I guess. <laughs> we are here at DBQ Con, guys. We are here hanging out with the Galena Ghostbusters. I met these guys uh, this past year at Cedar Rapids Comic Con. Uh, my first ever con doing mod creations, YouTube, and cosplay. They were very nice to me. Unfortunately, I was unable to do a good interview for them because my equipment at the time was... Uh, but they have so graciously allowed me to come back and uh, make it up to them here. So, uh, we are here hanging out with them. Tell me, how did the group start? Are there any brother or sister groups to the franchise here? Well, the group actually started back in 2005. Um, I've seen some pictures online of people in, like, the full replica of movie gear. I'm like, oh my god, I must have that. <laughs> and then, as I'm trying to figure out where they're getting these proton packs, I start seeing that there's actual groups. And then I found this page uh, that basically like told you like what what the qualifications were to be a franchise. I'm like, cool. So I contacted my buddy and I was like, hey, you want to do this? He's like, absolutely. So we formed the uh, Galena Ghostbusters then, 2005. Um, as far as uh, sister groups, we got uh, the Iowa Ghostbusters out of Clinton, Iowa, and then we also have the Winnebago uh, County Ghostbusters which is kind of over by the Rockford area. Those are the closest ones, but they are all over the world. As you can see, if you can see behind us at all, there, these patches here are from different franchises all over the world. That is amazing. I had no idea it was a worldwide group, so that's fantastic. Um, are there any specific requirements of a costume to join? Screen accurate, or can you do it a little personal if you want? Or what about different costumes from maybe the comic books or cartoons or movies? Um, actually, the only thing I really require to start off uh, when you join a group is to have what we call the soft goods, which is the, uh, the flight suit. Um, that, the flight suit can be various colors. Uh, I, I like the black. Um, khaki is the traditional. Um, but you also see blue, you see green. Um, some groups are a little more sticklers on what they have for color. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, and if you want to do more movie canon or comic canon or cartoon, hey, it's whatever. You're showing love for the Ghostbusters. So, if I want to join, can I do Stay Puff? Absolutely. Oh, Stay Puff, Stay Puff. We might see that in the future now, guys. <laughs> yes. But, uh, hold on a minute. Let me get this, uh, let the clothes to off. Close. Okay, so, any thoughts on the newest Ghostbuster movie? What'd you think of it? Actually, we, we all loved it. Um, I was fortunate enough to go out to L.A. to see the world premiere which it was amazing to do. Oh, that was wow. such an experience. Awesome. It was so cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, I, I think they did a good job. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the hate on it, it's like, you know what, come on. You're not gonna have the original four. I mean, that's physically impossible for one. Two, you know, our, our, our young ladies these days need some positivity to look up to, and what better way to have everyday looking smart women be the heroes of your movie. That's awesome. I really like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to some of the costumes. So, are there any, uh, are there any patterns or anything people can find if they want to do their own flight suit? Actually, uh, the, the easiest thing to do is just get online on one of the surplus uh, stores and get your flight suit through there. Um, they range, I think, like forty-five to sixty-five dollars, somewhere in there, um, for just for just a, a simple one. There is a particular flight suit that was used in the movie. Uh, I offhand right now I can't recall what that is, but I can tell you it's, it's no mech suit and it is not cheap by any means. As far as patches concerned, I mean patches are easy enough to get on eBay or a couple other websites. Um, a lot of people will do like, we have our regular patches, 
Here. All right, wow. That's the logo patch. Oh, a we DBQ did. Con a patch. One for DBQ Con this week. That's awesome. Um, then on the other side, we have our different club patches. So this is Galena, Iowa. this is Iowa, South Shore, and then this is actually a coalition we all belong to. Awesome, so all right. The Midwest here. Um, now, the guy, I know the guys from Iowa, and, and there's a few other teams, you know, they wear their club patch on the other side. Um, name badges, which mine came off, so I got one on. Uh, and they're easy enough to get online. They're, they're easy. Okay, so can you, what about showing us a little bit of the gear here? Like, uh, we got some Ion ones, some Proton packs. Uh, so this, this here's one of the Proton packs. I believe that's... Can we get a close-up of the Proton it's back here? Right. Can we get a close-up of that real quick? Alright, I think we got... Did we get it? Did we get the close-up there? So, can you tell us a little bit about the Proton Pack? Like, what what is on this Proton Pack here? How did you guys make it? A lot of the packs, um, there's different ways to do them. Um, there's different kits you can get. Some people scratch build them. Um, this particular one, you can tell on some of it's got some of the wheel parts. Um, these are actually still made by Clipper Pneumatic. They are not cheap whatsoever. Um, so it can be a little pricey. It can be. It really can be. It just depends on how, you want, how detailed you want to go into it. You can get, you can get beautiful looking resin copies of all, like, all these pieces, all the elbows and that. You get beautiful looking resin copies, but you can also still find some of the originals. The originals though, like one of these, I don't remember if it's the one on the pack or the one on the wand, it's 75 bucks. Holy cow, that's a little expensive, but... Uh, and there's also people out there that you can basically order parts from, so like this part here, the collars, the, the buttons, uh, buttons and all that, the knobs, are all machined aluminum. So, or you can get the resin version of it and just make it look a little numb. You know, re it really depends on how detailed and how much you want to put into it. All right. Well, um, I was wondering, can we steal this guy over here and get him in the shot? I really want to see him with all this gear on. I mean, can we, Myers, can we steal you here, buddy? Myers, you're looking great. You look like you're uh, ready to bust some ghosts. I don't know. Hey, hey, uh, I'm not, I may look like Stay Puff, and I am not Stay Puff. Can we get Yokozuna? <laughs> Yokozuna representing. Can we do it? Can we do a little turnaround here so we can? All right, all right. Here, let me see here. Uh, how do I take this off? I want to mess with it a little bit. Holy cow! Look at that. That it turns on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh! It turns on. It flies. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And look at this detail here, guys. Look at all this. This is fantastic. And let's go ahead and see you with your ion one. Is it an? It's an yep. ion one. Wow, you are decked out, man. Yep. Slimer's screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Slimer is screwed. So, uh, so generally in the past, guys, uh, cos uh, costume groups like to do uh, some charity work to get back to their communities. I see that you guys are doing some charity work here. What's it for? Uh, well, this year we're actually doing two different ones. We always work with Shriners. Um, actually, I shouldn't say always. We have been working with them for the last like five years now. Um, and actually with Shriners, they have a Halloween festival actually on Halloween itself that we actually go into and um, just ha hang out with the kids, the patients there. Um, last year we did slime making with them that, and they absolutely love it. Um, but so we always give back to them. And the other one this year was doing uh, for Sam, a young man in Galena is named Sam. Um, he has a genetic condition that causes tumors to grow within the muscles and that itself and they are inoperable. So we're just help raise the money to help cover some of the additional costs that you know there's a lot of things that insurance doesn't cover. So you know and the young man the young man's eighteen and he's he's got a long road ahead. That that really hits home guys. You guys are not only busting ghosts, but you guys are really just busting your butts out here trying to get back to your communities. That's really awesome of you guys. I really do appreciate that. I, if I can get the information, I will put all that information in my uh, YouTube channel's uh, descriptions for everything because I want to do everything I can to give back because 
we're nothing if we're not helping each other, right? So, yeah, but guys, we are here at DBQCon. I am hanging out with the Ghostbusters here. I am not Stay Puffed. I am Yokozuna. Don't forget that. But guys, don't forget, if you got a problem, who are you going to call? <laughs> apparently, apparently a T man, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a call to the Galena Ghost. Oh my gosh! Hey, hey John, didn't Yokozuna pass away a few years ago? He's got a point. They got me! They got me! Oh!